Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Vaporum. We've been adventuring through this location and discovered that they were doing some sort of science experiments here with some strange um, chemical or rock or dust or some sort of substance they were extracting from below. Fumium. And feeding it to cockroaches when last we left off. We were adventuring through these roaches and what apparently is haywire drones of some sort in this location. We still don't know much about our protagonist here as he's adventuring through. That's all we know so far. We also have now hit, have hit level 3, and we're going with a dual wield build. Let's continue with our adventure. The last thing I killed, it really didn't seem that human. There was flesh, yeah, but there was steel and whatever that blue stuff was. This place just feels so familiar, but none of the vermin and scrap meat tin men do. Yeah, he's definitely been here before. Possibly a high-ranking member of the facility. I see the drones over there. Let's deal with them. A toxic drone. Basic acid nozzle. Exclude a poisonous load into the surroundings. That doesn't sound good. Causing continuous area damage and administering acid onto enemies who walk through ga the gas. Acid deals damage over time and greatly reduces the target's healing or integrity restoring effects. We are not playing a mage, so I have to probably will end up selecting two or three abilities at most. And I'll need to save them for when times are extremely difficult. Leveled, plus one circuit point. We can now take skills up another rank to rank four. Hmm. I'm tempted to take a point in either handguns for more, even more ammunition salvaged, or decreasing the precision penalty we have a little more by an extra 7% for accuracy purposes. But we're going to fight tougher and tougher enemies, so more points and weapons would probably be more useful at this point. Let's take another point in handguns. We'll probably leave this at level 6 or 7 when we get this, and not put any more points into handguns at that point. I was so excited to get into this big project, the Arx Vaporum. Finally, the Bureau had acknowledged my achievements. I could put my years of expertise to use, to some real meaningful use. Only now I'm a little torn between pride and apprehension. This place, the research tower, gives me the creeps. The monster of a cage, that is. Committing to live in this metallic vault for another seven years. Oh god. My chest is thumping with anxiety, yet at the same time the excitement is unparalleled. And my new superior, Laura. She's obviously enthusiastic and all that, but a little too young for my taste, and too high-handed. With my extensive experience in physics, substance synthesis, and modulation pattern matching, she could defer to me a little. We need to utilize maximum expertise and caution when approaching such an unknown essence, not the recklessness of an over-eager over -eager girl. I just hope I haven't made a big mistake in taking this job. Lucy Page, Substance Field Research. Oh, it's not good to have resentment and or feelings of jealousy over other workers. Then again, it does sound like she might know what she's uh, what she's doing. Maybe they could 
consult her a little. Plus one tech. That increases the damage I believe we do. With tech with tech abilities. Alright, let's move on. Sorry I'm not talking as much, everyone, but I this part I don't remember very well. And actually, I, did, I think I did mention that I wouldn't be doing that much talking in this Let's Play. It's a bit creepy. Fighting also requires a lot of concentration in this one.
need a lot of experience. Desks. They must have been doing some sort of research here. Maybe we'll find out how they were using the fumium, fumium a bit more. I am now trying to play sonic recordings of the Fumium Core, and dude, I'm getting some crazy results. Plants and small animals are reacting to the sounds in the weirdest ways. Hard to put that in words, it's almost like the Core has a life of its own, too. If only they'd let me see that thing down there, in the deep. Liam Howe, Auto Analysis Team. Audio Analysis Team. the wrong way, everyone. Sorry. Hmm. I think maybe people in the rigs were consumed by some sort of power that this Fumium has done to them. It's definitely changed the insects for the worse. For, well, from our standpoint. Maybe because we were more intelligent, it, and the, I, we heard that heartbeat up above. Maybe whatever's down there is also intelligent somehow. And reacted to having some of its materials, substance, essence, being drained into us negatively. bad. Every pressure plate probably releases more enemies in this area. I can hear more gears going. take another big hit, we will use a repair kit.
Yeah. I'm gonna need to watch my step here. This whole place is rigged with traps. <laughs> yeah, we just finished clearing the area, Mr. Protagonist. I could have gone a lot worse. We will search it for secrets, but I'll probably do it off. Oh, maybe do it off screen. Tinker's Harness, 45 integrity, 8 energy regen, plus 2 tech, recharge speed, and repair power. Increases the strength of all integrity restoring effects and increases recharge speeds of gadgets. So we lose hit points, but we'd be able to heal more. I might, I'm might. i going to hold on to this at the moment. Yeah, outside of combat, we can equip it and it will heal us a little more. That might prove useful. Or will prove useful, assuming I remember to do it. Missing a power cord or cable or something. This must be an elevator and is currently depowered. damage. Little one's still alive, too, I think. Nice. Not quite a full heal. Looks like about three fourths. Or two thirds of one. Still very useful, though. Uh, we were only 50 away. I could have used my Fumiums to level me and should have done that instead of wasting a repair kit there.
Wow, this gun is really resilient, but that leveled us. Thank goodness for that auto heal. Wow, we may need points into armorer or something to give me more integrity instead. Well, let's put points at the moment into blade weapons. Getting my damage up a little more. That repair kit will make up for the one we used. And we move on. Alright, well done. That could have been so much worse. At first, figuring out the Arachnid prototypes was fun and challenging. All the exciting technology, new fumium cells, advanced discharge tubes, intriguing intricate blueprints. Man, I have poured my soul into the project. These spider machines are a work of art. But now, several months into the production, my motivation and faith are fading fast. Ultimately, I have to be honest with myself, I don't quite understand why we are making so many of them. Actually, what's the purpose of it all? Where are we heading with this? Henry Runcroft. Chief Robotics Engineer. Runcroft's Crowbar. Attacks against spiders have a chance to stun and deal bonus damage. When equipped with conjunction with Runcroft's Gauntlets, Runcroft's Crowbar gains melee speed. I think we're using his Gauntlets at the moment. We could go half and half and use a sword and the Crowbar. But no, I don't think we will. We're not taking blunt weapons. And while it would be useful against mechanical spiders, very useful, I don't think we're going to do so. I'm not going to remember to switch it out for other weapons. And we cannot take the shotgun that he has. Oh, it's bent anyway. this place is about, but I get this weird feeling. Something about these walls, these gears, and even these bolts. I'm not alone in this prison. Is this structure alive now, I wonder? Maybe it knows we're here walking around on its insides, like the many. Who's there? the gate here, but did not see a button other than the one that opened the other door. Maybe it also opens that one. No. I'd rather not leave supplies behind. I don't see any way to open that at the moment. Unless there was a button hidden by a block we could move. No. Okay, we'll move on. I'll look for a way to open that later.
Once it makes its circle, we'll begin shooting it. I hear the other spider to our left. Even one of them takes a long time to destroy. Having to fight them in a room that I have not explored, and I'm not familiar with where to move even if I had explored it, feels very strange. And I don't like it. This area is too tight to easily maneuver in. Here again. Alright, well, we started here. Let's move back and explore the areas we haven't seen yet. Still wonder why these spiders are all hostile. I'm guessing they can be programmed somehow, and I wonder who decided to throw them against me. Unless I'm not a protagonist at all, but a villain, and they're programmed to defend against me. But the robots and the spiders, uh, the robots and spiders, the spiders and the cockroaches don't seem to fight each other. So if they're a defensive mechanism, I guess the, I guess the cockroaches could have been trained as well to fight intruders. Ah, this, I remember. This is a really tricky puzzle, and I think we have to beat it if we want a key to make some progress here, everyone. So I'm going to do this bit off screen. This will take me like 30 minutes easy to try to remember how to do this puzzle. But our objective is to hit some buttons which we can't reach because the boxes are in the way. There's just enough boxes, uh, spaces, that we can move the boxes safely, but this will be really difficult. The Bureau sent us refined blueprints for the new Fumium batteries. The drafts have come a long way since my time at the university. These new prototypes should amend any issues that were known to have caused the shutdown at the Cat Kennet Island Research Project. The way the battery works is now based on Gwilherm's grid. It's made of Fumium-enhanced steel, holding the Fumium grains nicely intact and should prove to be a lot more stable than before. Out of curiosity, I took a peek at the Cat Kennet Project. There's no info. A complete blank. Well, apart from a dry note in the archives. Research complete. Station closed. Along with the new batteries, we also started to produce fumatons, which are powered by these powerful battery cells. They're an evolution of the basic model of quadrupedal Arak 3, which used to have a coal burning module with a boiler and a simple piston. We replaced the whole system with a simple expansion chamber for the battery and more robust piston parts. Sounds like they're building better weapons. Wonder what the Bureau wants to do with them. I'm not familiar with this world enough, though, to give a good answer. I'll be back. Hey, everyone. 
all right, we're, oh, wrong button. We are back. It's actually the next day. Uh, I did this overnight. It only took about 10 minutes for me to figure out how to move the boxes around. Your objective is to reach this spot and pull this lever, which will open that door. On the other side of that door, we found, or I found a golden key and a another note. It looks like the one scientist actually delivered while she was here. I just gave birth to a beautiful girl, Sophie. It all went well. I should probably feel guilty about this, but I'm not all that excited. I don't even feel exhausted, physically or mentally. To be honest, I'm just anxious to get back to the research seat as soon as possible. That's what I'm here to do. Oh, wow. That's not at all what I would have expected. I guess her attitude changed in the months in which she had first been pregnant, when she was like, we're going to leave, the most important thing is the baby. Now she's like, the most important thing is the research. Interesting. Alright, well, we have a golden key. And that will probably be used here. We've seen something inside this location as well. Oh, great. We're gonna run around. Make sure we don't have anything else that's spawned. Hard to figure out what I really have to time this at one point. I really don't also feel like being hit by that hammer of his. Life. 40 fumium for those golems, or whatever these things are. That wasn't so tough, but there's no way we'll kill them quickly if we're ever in a battle situation, which requires us to do so. A regular shield. We're not using shields, though, so that will stay here. A lever handle. Whoever did lift maintenance last time, did a very poor job. The power handle is broken again. Can't really rely on these blockheads anymore. No use whining, though. I did a better job myself, with good old Runcuff's very own hands. Handy Runcroft, Chief Robotics Engineer. Basic Umbrella Field Generator. Create a protective field around yourself, reducing all incoming damage. That... Sounds very useful. It lasts 10 seconds. And blocks minus 24% damage. Hmm. Forty energy. Seventy energy. We'll use this. Oh, this is used if we have to stand and tank. This is used and we can still move away, especially against ranged combatants. We'll be fighting more of them soon, if I recall correctly. I really wouldn't mind having a third slot, but that's going to require too many circuit points at the moment. So... We'll keep up what I've got up there at the moment. Actually, what is this? How much energy is this? 40? 40, 110, 150. Sure, we'll, we'll do this. This is my latest Fumium based toy, the Umbrella Field Generator. It can create a static protective barrier that absorbs damage coming from the surroundings. Very useful when you need to tinker with wielding drones and other third gen Fumitons. 
It's bizarre that we now need some sort of protection from the very robots we created to serve us, but that's a crude reality. What's even more bizarre, though, is that it's pretty unpopular to point these facts out. Henry Runcroft, Chief... Oh. The scientists don't want to hear that their creations are actually going haywire. Or have the potential to do so. They just want to believe that they're always doing the best thing. And everyone loves them. No, that's not the case, I suppose. We still are lacking the power source. Maybe it's around this way. Oh no. This is all going to open up, and various enemies are probably going to pour into this place. Unfortunately for me, I'm going to get pinned. I just know it. Well, let's do the best we can. Let's figure out what, we, what I need to do. Is there a lever I didn't see? Oh, right! One of our pistols is, is the piercer. I forgot all about that. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. And I saw the opportunity to rush forward and out of this corner to avoid both of those... Uh, Bots, I took it. And thankfully, we were able to down them both really quickly. I've always felt it, or rather, the lack of it, my purpose in life. I always knew there was something out there for me to do, to follow, to carry out. I just didn't know what it was until today. I think I just found it. Thunium is so intriguing. It drives me crazy, in a good way. I'm coming up with ideas on how to use it every day, and the substance never ceases to amaze me on how flexible it is. We already have a working fuel prototype, which outdoes even the most modern diesel solutions. At this early stage, is there any limit on what we can do with this? Marcus has taken notice of my constant overtime. I admit, he's right, I should spend more time with him. And being pregnant, I should definitely take more time to rest. But I just can't help myself. I'm thinking about the research all day long. Maybe this substance alters your mind somehow as well.
Hmm. Seems like this would be a good place for a secret. And we are missing one on this level, but we can look for it. I, I can look for it off screen. Oh, Tim, there was the one locked door that you weren't able to access. You didn't find a way how to on how to do that either. All right. Let's plug the missing gear in. And we're set. All right, let's pull this. And we're leaving immediately. <laughs> you know that's a trap. Well, I'm pretty sure it is. A door also shut. That is a ranged combatant, our first one. Well, no, not our first one. Our first ranged suit, whatever it was. Let's see if we can get him to come into this place. Show you what happens if he, you stand in front of him. Ugh, bastard. Yeah, he will kick you and then shoot you. You are stunned during the kick. Assault Guardian. Victory. That might not have been the only things out there, though. We are a hundred away from leveling. The first time I did this battle, he kicked me, shot me, and I ran in this direction to get away from him. Those two bots we just killed, though, spawn down this hallway and come charging at into you. And I ended up getting locked in the hallway and died. It was pretty gruesome. That was a long time ago. I remember most of the ambushes which killed me in this game. Alright everyone, I'm going to go off screen really quick and see if I can find that secret. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, I think this is the button. I didn't even notice it on this column. What an ingenious place to place buttons. Not only do you have to look, be careful of walls, but you should also be careful, rather, not be careful, scan pillars. Also, while looking, looks like someone didn't make it at some point here. I can't interact with the hand in any way, but that's pretty gruesome.
combat fuse. Oh, hello. Sting. Chance to apply acid. Does only 10 damage. Five seconds. You know what? Although it does less damage, I like the idea of doing acid damage to enemies. Roach spit tincture is a remedy recommended in small doses. This dagger is dripping with it to test the exact opposite. Alright everyone, I think that'll do it. Let's go upstairs and then we'll call the session as we have been doing so far in this game. What do you guys think so far? Hopefully you like this game. Well, I mean, if you don't, that's that's fine too. I, I really like Vaporum. It is really difficult. I can see myself trying different builds to see which other ones will work out uh, as you play through the game. I believe the game consists of also 12 levels, so we've just finished, arguably we've just finished one-fourth of the game, but the first two levels are rather short. This one was significantly longer. I think they get longer from here on out as well. Alright everyone, we're stopping here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Take care everyone.